Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video I want to talk about Nick Walker. Arguably, I think it's pretty safe to say, the freakiest bodybuilder of today. Now, he's a top 5 Olympian, which means he's one of the potential winners next year. And you know what? He got to that point really, really fast. Uh, about a year ago, not many people knew who Nick Walker even was. I mean, he was a great amateur. Two years ago, he tried to turn pro, he failed. A year ago, he tried and he managed. About a month later, he did Chicago Pro, then the New York Pro, then the Arnold Classic, and then Mr. Olympia, where he established himself as the top-tier bodybuilder, ending up in the finals of Mr. Olympia, top five. He's a finalist. He's automatically qualified for the next year. Here's the thing, top 5, it used to be top 10 maybe back in the day, maybe top 10 bodybuilders could have won the Mr. Olympia on any given day, depending on how on they were, but today let's say top 5 is very close. It's really not hard to imagine Nick Walker beating Big Ramy and winning the Mr. Olympia if Big Ramy and everybody else is a little bit off and Nick is 100% on. So Nick Walker is on that level, he is potentially the best bodybuilder in the world. And he got to that point really fast. Nick is only 27 right now. And a year ago, he was an amateur. So are we supposed to be worried about his health? A lot of people are talking about that. And uh, when you look at his uh, body itself, it doesn't look super healthy. Why? Well, first of all, because he's that massive. He's 285, really, really lean at 5'7". That is really heavy, especially for a 27-year-old. And then the next thing, of course, everybody is staring at it, is his calves, his lower legs. His entire legs pretty much are suffering from the condition called varicose veins. It looks super unhealthy, it looks like he is seriously ill, but actually it's more of an aesthetic thing. It's actually not a health concern, believe it or not, it's just an aesthetic thing. And he can surgically fix that, but he doesn't want to. He thinks it's cool, he thinks he looks uh, awesome, he likes it. And it does look really nasty, it looks badass. You can see faces on his legs, basically. I mean, it doesn't look nice, it doesn't look aesthetic at all. But, you know, he's a bodybuilder, he wants to be a freak, a freak of the freaks. And this is just adding to it. So his legs are not really something that tells us that he's not healthy. Other than that... I mean, him getting so massive, we kind of saw a similar scenario, hopefully with a different ending with Dallas McCarver, who was growing rapidly, who was only 26 when he passed away. He was younger than Nick. He was 26 and he was enormous. He was super, super huge. And at 26, he died. From what? Some people say it was choking, but it seems like it was a heart attack. Anyways, you can watch my video on the autopsy they did after he died. All of his organs were super enlarged. So heart, uh, lungs, uh, kidneys, liver, everything was like twice or three times the size it should be. Go and watch my video for details, but that was basically it. Uh, Nick is also really, really massive. And do we know how big his organs are right now? We don't. Dallas died four years ago. Uh, since that, a lot of other deaths happened, like Rich Piana, now this year only, John Meadows, George Peterson, Sean Roden, a bunch of female competitors and uh, older retired bodybuilders. After all that happened, bodybuilders are more aware and they are checking their health more frequently. And here's the thing, the coach of Nick Walker is Matt Jansen. Matt Jansen was also the coach of Dallas McCarver. I mean, it's not like Matt Jensen killed Dallas McCarver. I don't think he was even the one who pushed him to the limit, to the end. Uh, he was working previously, Dallas did uh, work previously with uh, Chad Nichols and other coaches. And uh, when he got to the point to start with Matt Jensen, yeah, he made a lot of progress in that time. But it also could have been a genetic problem with the heart. So it's not really Matt Jensen's fault, probably. But... Nonetheless, a lot of people are actually blaming him because he was the coach Dallas was working with when he passed away. So now, would Matt Jensen risk something like that happening again with another next big thing like Nick Walker? Hell no, I really doubt that. I think they are on top of Nick's health. 
I think Nick is very well aware of what his blood work looks like all the time. I'm sure he's checking his heart and everything it takes to make sure that he's staying healthy. But can you really be healthy being 285 lean at 5 foot 7? Is that really going to be easy on your heart at 26? It's not, it's not a good thing. It's definitely a bad thing for his health. So is he super healthy? He cannot be super healthy. There is no way. I don't know if he also has organomegaly like Dallas McCarver. I don't know how much are his organs enlarged. Maybe they are fine. Maybe they are the, the, the normal size. But still, I mean, he is growing at a really fast rate. He is adding muscle every week. Every time you see him, he looks bigger and bigger and bigger. And by the time Mr. Olympia comes, how big will he be? Will he be 300 pounds lean, 315, 320, 330, 350? What is going to be like? I'm really curious to see for how long will he manage to actually grow at this rate and not get any fatter, staying super lean. There is one thing you cannot deny. He is a genetic freak. No matter what you do, you can do all the drugs in the world. You can eat all the food in the world. You can train as hard as possible. You will not grow at this rate. Nobody can do that. This is probably the only person in the world that is this genetically blessed. So you cannot deny his genetics. But nonetheless, genetics or not, being this big and growing this fast, I don't know. I don't think this is ideal. I mean, he's, yeah, he has great genetics, but I'm sure he's pushing the drugs. Surely he's pushing the food and the training. He's putting a lot of strain, a lot of stress on his body. And I hope he can actually manage all that stress and all that strain. But the health awareness of him and of his coach, Matt Jensen, I think is on a pretty high level, on a satisfying level. So I think if everything uh, goes as planned and if they keep testing and checking everything, he'll be just fine. And the only side effect that he will get from growing so fast will be a Mr. Olympia title, a Sando. That is what I honestly hope for Nick Walker. I'm a big fan of this guy. And if you guys are as well, tell me how do you feel about this topic? Are you of the opinion that he is growing too fast, that this is dangerous for his health? Or do you think he will be just fine? Whatever your thoughts are on this topic, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, of course. And for more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye-bye.